high trends. Welcome back to channel Sidekick. In this, we're going to compare the specific differences between the Ico Yite versus the Realme GT Neo 2 device. So these are the comments which I'm getting regarding the both phones. Either they should buy the Realme GT Neo 2 or should they wait for the Ico Yite device or not? As you can see, so few of the users they want me to compare these both phones side by side. Let's see, friends, what are the differences between these both devices? Is it worth of waiting for the Ico Yite device or should you buy the Realme GT Neo 2, which is available for about 27,000 rupees after using bank discount cards? You can actually get for this price on the Realme GT Neo 2. So first, these are the designs which the both phones looking on the back side and the front side. So punch hole will be in the middle and punch hole on the side ways as you can see clearly so till now we did not get any kind of confirmation from the Ico that they're gonna launch the Ico 8 or Ico 8 legend so maybe the dual cover edge or maybe this phone so maybe they might launch even two phones as well but let's see what uh, we'll be expecting very soon I think maybe next week we should be expecting all the leaks and rumors about the upcoming phones so first thing you should know about the processor. The processor in the Realme GT Neo 2 is about Snapdragon 870 chipset and in the Ico 8 will be having about Snapdragon 888 chipset. So that's slightly upgraded in terms of the performance segment but that's also results in slightly kind of heating problems in the Snapdragon 888 processor. If the manufactured company doesn't uh, do proper cooling system then definitely you will be ending up in the high temperatures in the Snapdragon 888 processor. But I did came to know the IQ7 legend was able to keep slightly kind of better cooling but we need to see friends how the IQ8 will be coming up. So in terms of the having really good performance and really good cooling system maybe the snapdragon 870 will be the best option at this moment that's what uh, i did feel in my usage i do have the two smartphones with the snapdragon 888 process and three phones with the snapdragon 870 chipset so in my usage and in my experience of these phones that's what i did learn so snapdragon 870 is perfect per for uh, high performance with low temperatures and very efficient battery as well these are the advantages for the Snapdragon 870. So my oath will be for the Snapdragon 870 processor. But it also depends upon the price. What the price of the IQ 8 gonna come? Because right now the IQ 7 is available for 30,000. If this IQ 8, if they release for maybe 33,000, somewhere around that, that could be a really good deal. But I'm not sure at this moment they will be doing that. But that's the difference about the uh, processor. Next thing is about the display. The Realme GT Neo 2 comes with a 6.62 inch screen size, 120Hz refresh rate. 600 at start sampling rate but we are getting only 300 at start sampling rate and 1300 nits of peak brightness in this uh, realme gt neo 2 device so these are the details about the display and in the iq yite we do have the display properties of amoled panel 120 hertz and 6.56 inches screen size slightly kind of uh, small screen when compared with the 6.62 inches screen size just a little bit not a huge difference we would say so regarding the HDR10 certified and there's no information regarding the brightness how much it, it gonna be there I think definitely it gonna be there close to 1300 nits of brightness that's what I'm expecting and that sampling rate I think 300 start sampling rate and it will be varying and there is also adapt to refresh it the phone can actually go up to 1 hertz to 120 hertz depending on the content of the phone that's what they did advertise in the other chinese websites which i did see and next thing is about the build quality i mean about the weight of the phone the realme gt neo 2 which has got 199 grams and whereas the iq 8 has got 200 grams 8.6 mm thickness 9 mm thickness slightly maybe slim profile you may be expecting in the iq 8 but less battery capacity but equal weight that's the one thing you should definitely understand because iq 8 comes with the about 4350 mh of battery capacity but with 120 watts charging we are not sure friends whether they'll be launching exactly 120 watts in india or not but if they do it this will be the first phone with the 120 watts charger in india that's going to be really very very interesting to see even with the less battery capacity the weight was equal to the 5000 mh of battery capacity that's quite shocking to see because i did expect maybe 20 grams or maybe 10 grams should be less than the realme gt neo 2 because the weight decreased right the battery capacity but still the weight distribution was unable to keep up with that kind of level and fast charging i think we can expect a full charge within close to maybe 18 17 minutes of time that's what the results i did see in the chinese websites and the realme gt neo 2 can charge within 36 minutes so exactly in off time you can actually charge the iq 8 device that's another good thing so next thing both phones they do have the normal under display fingerprint scanners nothing much huge difference 
and uf storage 3.1 will be there in both phones no issues with that and cameras about that 64 megapixel 8 plus 2 combination is present in the realme gt neo 2 and 50 plus 13 plus 13 is present in the iq 8 device so slightly kind of better telephoto we do have at this moment that's kind of real advantage right so i do like the telephoto lens but it also depends upon one user to other users anyway but we do have 50 13 plus 13 this is a combo and there's no information about the 4k 60 fps but in the realme gt neo 2 we can record 4k 60 fps without any kind of issues and front cam is of 16 megapixel 16 megapixel nothing much huge difference and both are having the dual speakers and there is no 3.5 mm jack unfortunately and next thing is about the 5g bands also we're not sure how many connect 5g bands will be there this is the problem with the iq phones like connectivity they'll give everything good but the connectivity they'll uh, not concentrate much that's the one thing friends they should they need to improve giving more 5g bands or maybe at least better wi-fi connectivity option as well that's another thing which i'm bothering from the long so many months with the not having that stable wi-fi connection i mean it's good it's good not bad but it's not as good as this phone realme phones that is what i'm trying to say it is good it is good in the iqo 7 device no problem but it's not as good as the realme phones like realme x and max and other phones that's what uh, my main problem would be there so friends, the final conclusion is that it all depends upon the price what the iQoo is launching in India. So at this moment, we can see the iQoo 7 price got dropped exactly 30,000. So they're not increasing the iQoo 7's price again more than 30,000. So that's another good sign to see. So maybe they might be launching this iQoo 8 anywhere close to 34,000, I think. But this iQoo 7 legend as well. So keeping those things in the mind, I'm not sure friends at this moment what the price will be there. So if they can get anywhere close to 34,000, that will be really good, sweet deal, I would say. For this 120 watts, if, if they can do that, 120 watts, that's what uh, my opinion is about the iQoo 8 device. So that's it, friends. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates. In case if you have any other queries, let me know in the comment section below. So apart from the processor, which has got advantage processor and which has got the fast charging advantage in the iQoo 8 device and telephoto lens and the camera can be slightly better in the iQoo phones, which in my experience of using the iQoo devices, that's what I did came to know. The performance of the camera is slightly better than the Realme phones. So camera and fast charging and uh, pretty good performance in the iQoo UI. These are the things you can actually expect in the iQoo 8 device. In the Realme GT Neo 2, connectivity, battery backup, you can expect in the Realme GT Neo 2. That's the one thing. So that, that's it, friends. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates. In case if you have any other queries, let me know in the conversation below. Don't forget to check out the playlist for each and every smartphone which I did create. The playlist will give the clear idea of what is going on with the each and every device as well. So thank you for watching this, this video friends and see you in the next video and let's for more updates. Meanwhile, signing off. Bye.